Hello, Zebra Herd. Welcome back to Forager. Today, we are moving through the rest of the islands we've yet to explore because, of course, we've been doing that quite a lot recently because we purchased all the islands. But the last islands I have to explore are not to the left, not to the right, not up, but down here. Oh my gosh, that is so many demons. They've had a lot of time to spawn in because I purchased all these islands and just sort of left it there for an hour and a half now, I think it has been in game. You know, because I've been exploring the skull biome and everything. So there's just a lot of stuff going on here. My goal is to explore as much of it as I possibly can and just keep moving through it and have a good time um, because I've explored all the other islands. So <laughs> let's get to it and see how it goes. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be crazy. I might save exploring the galaxy tower for very last. I'm not really looking forward to that one as much just because I don't know, it's one of my least favorite puzzles. I think I will just look up the answer because we've painstakingly solved it in the past. I'd rather not have to spend an hour plus on it again because it was so tough. I wonder if these, I don't think they do. I think that was already patched in one of the betas I already had played, but these, um, the dragonflies or whatever they are, the, maybe they're hornets or whatever, whatever these things are that we can um, capture with the bottles here. There was once a glitch where they would sell for tons of money. I don't think they sell for as much as they used to. And here's the boon chest, which we'll be using at some point. Not now, but at some point. Also, I didn't explain that I also organized all my chests. So if my inventory is clear, it's not because of some awful mishap. It's because everything should be squared away in chests unless I find some new items and then we'll have more stuff going on. So like lots of cool stuff happening. Alrighty. And then this is one of the bigger puzzles because it requires you to pay attention to everything throughout the entire game. Like if you can see right here, we'll, we'll discuss, I guess we'll discuss this in a moment, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff like that going on. And yeah, it's very cool. And I also got the obelisk set up, so we got some experience pouring in. And overall, we have gotten very close to level 48, so that's gonna be cool. Let's get some of this stuff figured out down here. Oh, and there's already a shrine down here. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, this guy already has his own shrine. I might as well keep that here because why move it, you know? It's in a pretty good spot. Can I talk to him at all? He's like, I don't like you. Please leave me alone. Oh, I think it was supposed to do something for him and that would make the shrine there. But I guess it might have already happened by accident. Maybe I set up a rod somewhere that broke it. There was like a big rock, right? I can't remember but he's not happy right now. Uh, anyways, I don't mind. We got Hoarder or Builder. We're doing Hoarder, of course, because there's lots of materials to get around here. Oh, and there's level 48. Very cool. Whoa, there's where the dino eggs are. I forgot they were down here. I swear that they were not. I, th I thought that there was something else here. Anyways, that's fine with me. Let me quickly get up there. Um, that way we can set up a couple of things because I do need to set up a couple of things. Um, as many thread as I can, as much leather as I can and as much royal clothing, which still isn't much because I'm low on what? Low on thread. So hopefully that'll change soon. I'm always low on one of those two things. I need to find the balance some point or another. But in the meantime, I can make I can make some coins, but I don't need to, I have 100,000 coins. Why would I wanna do that? Oh, look at this, I could actually make the demon amulet. Oh, I'm doing that, I'm so doing that. Um, and while that's doing its thing, I'm gonna give you one of these. Thank you so much. I promise I will keep him safe from harm. His name will be Tony. All right, well, he gets a little dinosaur friend. Uh, does he? Where's the dinosaur at? I thought that, he, that it would show up next to him. Uh, please don't chop down all the trees. Don't worry, plenty of them show back up. All right, so we get ourselves on the spirit orb for that one. Glad I could have helped him. And yeah, let's keep it going. I don't know if there's too much more I can do with the mic. I can make the skull bow. I, can, I can't make the demon sword, but I can continue to make more stuff. There it is! This will be great, gain 125% more resources. That is amazing. The royal shovel, another thing I can actually do quite easily. We're really starting to get through this, guys. It's getting great. And there we go, there's the bone bow, the skull bow. I don't need that too much, but arrows do something to the targets. Um, so I can make a lot more plastic. I need to get started with that. I can make some more fiberglass. I'm missing royal clothing. Then I might wanna hold off on too much royal clothing, but I, I mean, I gotta get started some at some point. What do we got here? Industrious would be huge, actually. And also, let's not die, I need to eat. A royal shovel, dig area increase, digging always yields ores? That's insane. Oh my gosh, we gotta check that out in a moment. And I still need more fiberglass for that. So yeah, just make as much fiberglass as I possibly can, which is that for now. But it'll increase more soon, I think. And for this, I can only craft one of these. Okay. 
So I need to make more bottles as well. I'm not sure how many I can make. I can make a good chunk. What about my other upgrades? I can't really make the robotic shovel right now. The demon pickaxe is almost in the realm of possibility. Definitely some interesting stuff going on. I'm gonna buy a little bit of everything here because actually I could really use all of it. Probably didn't need all of this, <laughs> but it's what I got. Okay, let me activate this thing over this way. We got either merchant or hoarder. Let's do this, because I have 100,000 coins. I'm not gonna need too much more. Just get the hoarder figured out and that'll be great. So we're halfway through level 48 already and I haven't even activated the bonus I wanted for level 48. And I'm still not going to. I wanna use the most of my time here. Just beating this stuff up. And eventually we'll set up some rods somewhere. Not entirely sure where just yet, but we'll figure that out. I definitely need to activate some of my spirit orbs soon as well. There's lots to do. <laughs> the to-do list is humongous. But man, I've been having a lot of fun, so that's what really matters. And I hope you guys have too. I know a lot of people requested more Forager episodes. I've been working super hard on it. But just like, it always rewards us with ores now. I feel like that's the faster way to get ores than anything else, especially if we have like a lot of dexterity. Like swinging really fast. That's a lot of demons. And they're gonna beat me up if I'm not careful. Hold on. I need to get more health soon. <laughs> that was crazy. I can't believe they got pretty close to getting me there. Let's not kill all of our momentum here. Oh, and this guy might be the last NPC we need to talk to. And if so, that means that we've gotten another feat done. That'll be great. Because right now that's sort of the main focus is to get everything completed for all the feats and for max level. And then things will be pretty good. Let's go ahead and do this one. Got it. Beat up this dude. But as you can see, things got exponentially better here in our playthrough. It was amazing. Beat up these guys. Don't let them beat me up too much though. There we go, we're good. Got a couple more of them. There are so many of them. Why is there so many of them? It's insane. Wow, 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 wow. There we go, there, there's the majority of them. So let's keep swinging. Beat this stuff up. I will most certainly be setting up some rods here sooner or later. Almost at level 49. Then I can dig this up, not too bad. I definitely need to set up more oil too. So I might actually make a shortcut here with the bridges in just a moment. Cause I need to bridge everything out. But this guy has a factory down here, which I actually don't need it to be down here. So I might break his factory and get the uh, materials from it. Okay, so for these, oh, I remember These are fire chests. So I need to cool them down, I think. Will that work? It will. Got some money there. Also, once again, don't die. <laughs> really don't want to die right now. I don't want to die ever. Doesn't sound pleasant. Uh, there we go. So I'm just gonna cut this across here because I need to set up more, I have plenty more bottles now, so it would definitely be worth my while to set up more oil if I have the chance. And I think I have plenty more glass, or at least I have plenty more sand to make more glass. So as many of that as I can. And I can make another 52, so that's amazing. And I'm making more glass here. There's a hundred of them just working. Didn't mean to do that. I can make so much of that, that's crazy. So much of that as well. Wowie. So like things have just gotten crazy. Ridiculous in such an amazing way. I love it. So for the fiberglass, where am I putting that? I think I put that in here, or no, no, I put it in here. That'd be good, I think. Put it in there. Spirit orb can go in there. One of the dinosaur eggs could go in here, I suppose. I'm just gonna put them all in there, just for organization's sake. We'll do merchant, even though I don't need it. I don't plan on using it. Hoarder or dexterous. Ooh, I want both of them. I wanna do hoarder for now, though, because it does pay out more. <laughs> if we could get dexterous on top of that, that'd be great. I'll have to wait and see. Got all those guys. So what is this one? Is this the one where I just smack it with a sword? Or is this an obelisk? This might be an obelisk, I can't remember. But I thought the obelisk was something else. I might be wrong. No, I guess I'm wrong. Did I ever do this one with the sword? I'm pretty sure I did. But I should go and double check. Okay, so yeah, there's lots going on right now. I just wanna make sure I'm not doing, or forgetting anything pretty important. Yeah, okay, I did that just because it's important to do so that we can get everything done. That 
Chicken just dropped 10 eggs, cause it's awesome. Okay, so I got the majority of the bulk cleared out now. That is super crazy how I can just do that. It just gives so much. So at this point I can start exploring through and doing a little bit more minute things, like talking to the one worker. I don't want to do the boons just yet, but soon for sure. There's still a lot of ores here though. I got, I'll get these. Grabbing all these. Oh, I'm super low on health. That happens way too often. That's where I'm definitely gonna be spending some of my spirit orbs. And then also we need to work on the museum. I definitely put it off a lot longer this time, but I feel like it's been paying off. I've been using all my materials to do really good stuff. Hello. Hey there, I'm an engineer. You can tell I'm smart and pretentious because I told you what my job is, even though you never asked. Anyway, since I am better than you, go fetch me a few materials from my factory. Oh, I got plenty of those. Thank you for the materials. This is complicated work, so you probably wouldn't under understand it. Factories need steel to make cool things. Well, you don't know is I have three of my own factories. Here's your reward. All right, so help the engineer, we got that. And inside of here, we get another spirit orb. Very cool. And inspecting mirrors is a job I could easily see myself doing. Let's go ahead and break this. Just because I don't need it to be here. It's just taking up space. There we go. Oh, that was great. Got tons of cool stuff there. I need to eat some more food. And I know I haven't gotten my level up yet. I'll get it in a moment. But there we go, getting nice and set up for everything. Wow, <laughs> this is great. So I wanted to solve this one now, if I can. So yeah, these are the these are the little puzzles that can be a pain in the butt, but can also sort of be fun. And it's that like whatever, whenever you click one of these down, the ones adjacent to it will pop back up. It's a little bit weird and tricky to mess with, but it's doable. We've done it before. I'm sure we'll do it again. Hmm. My general goal would be, I guess to do that. Because I can get it down right now pretty low, just like that. Now they're mostly all over here. So if I could do this, oh no. <laughs> it's so close yet so far. Huh. We're super close to getting it done, but also not really. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Flip those. And that almost works. But then I'm back to being like here. This is super tricky. I'm going backwards now. This is not good. So let me try that one. Oh, here we go. I solved it. Nice. Okay. That was sort of luck. But hey, that's fine with me. Luck of the draw. Hey, okay with that. There we go. And while all those are opening, I'm going to get this spirit orb. And we're going to open these chests up. Obviously, they're just going to give me a lot more coins and that kind of stuff, which is good with me. So, this guy's been trying to attack me. He keeps missing. Sorry, buddy. This is sort of a different one. So what you might notice is that there's a little marking on the center of the floor here that says 1154. That's the order in which there's, there's I think, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, there's 12 of these in total. What we have to do, man, the ore pop up so fast here. I might want to set up a lightning rod right now, or a mining rod. I don't know what I want to call it, a lightning rod. Let's do something like this. That should be good. That'll be working. So I need to find out what order to do these. So the best way to do that would probably just be to pull up the island purchaser. Because I know there's one up here, 372. Problem is that I can't get a clear picture of the frost biomes from way over here. So I know where one is. I should probably just write these all down then. So over here is 168. So we just need to write down this diagram. I've done this before. I don't remember what it is. So I'm doing it again now. So it's one or it's 618. Yep, 618. And then over down here, this one's 11, five and four. Up this way, it was three, seven and two. So I just need to find out what it was in the frost biome. Unfortunately, there's none on the grass biome, but actually that's not a big deal. And that would make it so that there's too many. Wouldn't make any sense then. Uh, let's destroy all of this. Gotcha. I'm out of stamina, but 
Oh, I don't have my my obelisk going right now. I am such a dingus. That's why I'm like, okay, this is slowing down a lot. What's going on? I don't have the obelisk. That's not very helpful, is it? Come on, get through all this. And it's right here. Get it going. There we go. Experience will start pouring back in now. And we can also get industrious, yes. Let me go ahead and set up more stuff then. And then I'll figure out the, the answer to that riddle. So whatever I can set up right now, like more arrows, set up more arrows. If I can set up how much, I can. I still can't do much royal clothing, but I can do more of these. And I can do, I can do some coins, but I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, it might be a decent idea, just setting up all this. Okay, all that's moving now. So I can roll back down this way. We can do dexterous, here we go, now we're really moving. As much plastic as I can. Can't do any fiberglass, but I can do one electronic, oh my gosh. Why can I only do one? Because I don't have enough plastic, once again. And this is making oil. Maybe I should just make another oil drill right here. I need to make one somewhere. So I might as well make it here. Let's get rid of that guy so he doesn't attack me. Industrial, offshore drill. Can it fit here? I can't. <laughs> it's just, it's such a pain in the butt because this only works some of the time is destroying these bridges. I think that was all the space I needed though. Industrial, offshore drill, right here. Nope, gosh darn it. Because it only sometimes works as you can see. Okay, we got level 49. There we go, come on. It's just, it's so picky. Why is it so picky? Industrial, offshore drill, come on. It still won't work. It's such a pain in the butt. I gotta find a place to put that sooner or later, because I need more offshore drills just sort of working. But we got two level ups I need to use here. I can make more bottles. I can hopefully make more glass. I can, I can make plenty more. Let's go and get a level up. Two of them, actually. So, what do I wanna do? I could set up the banking now, but I do wanna do more supply so I can buy more stuff from the shop, so I'll do this. And maybe I'll do cooking now, or I can do gluttony. I mean, I'm using th that kind of stuff anyways. I'm using food, so I might as well get more experience out of it. Okay, we'll do that. Gluttony it is, gain experience while eating. And let's see how that goes. Ooh, speaking of which, I don't know how much experience it's gonna give me. Probably not much. It's impossible to tell right now. Literally impossible. But that's all the plastic I can make. Like, that's really like a really tough situation. I want to solve. <laughs> I just have to just turn on the game when I have mouse and keyboard set up is all. So I never did the uh, frost biome stuff. That's what I need to do. I need to find out what the final piece of the puzzle is. I'm sure I could eventually figure it out via deduction, but that would just take too much time. It'd be just faster to go up here and find where it is. I think it's up here on the top, right next to the fox guy. It is, so it's 10, 9, and 12. Okie doke. So, we're gonna get out of here. Even though I could destroy a couple things along the way. Wouldn't be too bad of an idea. There's just so much stuff to destroy, though. That's why the droids are so helpful. I'm tempted to get a second one, but I don't think I quite need it yet. We definitely need to tie these islands together a little bit better. Just so we can get around a tad bit more quickly. So, I do know the answer to this now. It should be uh, one, and then two. Three is up here. And then four right here, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. There it is, give me that treasure chest. Inside we get ever so surprising spirit orb. Okay, got a couple more things there. Let me get that, okay. So, <laughs> turning out pretty well. So at this rate, I think the only things left we have to do are these, you know. Oh wait, there, no, there's a guy here. Yeah, what is this one? I forgot. Oh, there's something we can explode in this room, I remember. Okay, I thought this was the galaxy tower, it is not. This is some watchtower that this guy has. Hello, and there we go! Talk to every NPC with the extrovert! Very cool. Um, wait, what did he say? You know I'm going to, you know, I'm going to make you go fetch some items, right? 
Don't resist, I, it, I have a special reward for you. I'm talking about my super special magical scepter. Let's get started with a few cinder blooms I need for my potions. How many do you need? I think he needs 20. I don't care how many he needs. <laughs> cinder blooms, this is great. I need a few more things before I can give you my super special magical scepter. What does he want now? I guess we'll find out in a moment, picking up all of his potions he's given me. Um, yep, I know you want the super special mag magical scepter. How about you bring me some pigments for my magical scrolls? Now that's actually gonna be a pain in the butt, but doable. We need 20 pigments, so let's go and get those. Um, let's also just do that, cause why not? And let's see what's available at the, oh, so they haven't restored yet. But soon enough they will, it'll be great. What more can I set up? I can make 16 of these now. <laughs> Better than nothing, I'll take it. And can I make any more animal feed? I can make a bit more. It's not a ton, but it's something. That's why it's important to destroy any kind of slime I see. And also activate the fairies. There we go. So all these are hard at work. I can make more actually. Oh yeah, I can make way more. Hmm. All right. And can I make any more bottles? A couple. You also focus on some other stuff. Bottle Death Moth. <laughs> That's just a, such a weird name for it. We could also do the Crystal Bow. Items are stocked. What do we got? A little bit of everything. Why'd I buy the arrows? I'm just gonna sell those back. <laughs> I don't know. But everything else is, eh, well, some of it's important. A bottled Rainbow isn't that big of a deal. I'll probably just dump those so I can actually get other stuff in, though, in them. So what do I need out of here? Once again, I, I mean, I can make it, like obviously that's a bit expensive, so I don't plan on doing that. But I guess I, I must be able to increase these, like, or make them better. I'll have to keep it in mind. For now, though, it looks like I can also use, you know, 100 great skulls on each of those. So I'm thinking I'll, I'll craft half of what I have for that. I can't make too many bombs, once again, I'm out of jelly, which isn't that big of a deal. I'll leave it be. But for this, this is where I need a lot of green pigment. That also requires jelly. Why does so much stuff require jelly? I have no clue. Let's do this. We'll activate Dextrous and I'll look around for as many jellies as I can. And that's sort of my best bet. Until I find a more productive way to get jellies, which I don't know what that would be. I definitely need more than one droid though to pick up all this stuff. Because right now he is not picking up as much as I need him to. Like even there, I'm only getting a couple more. Okay. Because isn't there one more? Yeah, there is one more glyph I can get here, and that's only going to need a few more fiberglass. So let's make as many of these as I can. There we go. A lot of stuff I have or I need to get right now is reliant on fiberglass. Is the tough thing. Here's another jelly. Get him. How many more can I make now? I can make two. <laughs> I need 20. Oh, that's the worst. It's just, it requires so much. There has to be a better way to get jelly, right? I mean, maybe it's just making a bunch of shops. Maybe I should make like a shop corner over here. Let's go to economic, go to the market and get that set up there. What can I make or get right now? Nothing too crazy, but it's a start. Hmm. So these things are stock in seven minutes. I'll see, if, can I fit in one more here or would that be too crowded? I think I should be able to walk between them. Yeah, I can. Oh, I got another droid. I'm not gonna spend 50, 55,000 on it. It's just too much. It's unnecessary. So there we go. Four shops should hopefully help me out with that. And I might as well make the most of everything else going on. I just wish I could Get more of this done, you know? I just want those jellies. I mean, they pop up at a decent rate, but not decent enough. I don't see any more around here, actually. <laughs> I got rid of the most of them for now. Oh, it sounded like I heard maybe one of them jumping around, but I do not see a jelly, so I might have been wrong. Oh well, I did what I could. At this rate, I'm thinking that we'll hop into one of these things. Now this is the galaxy, right? I don't wanna do this one right now. Oh no, this is the uh, fire temple. You know what? Let's get to, actually, maybe I should stash away some of my stuff because I got a lot of stuff just out from buying. So I'm going to real fast, what is this gonna be? Industrious, 
So while I'm organizing things, that can go on. So what do I need to put away first? First off, there is ores and stuff here. I know I have gold ore there. And that's about it. Like, I just, I'm so bad at organizing. I definitely need to sort of gloss over everything with my eyes several times. Definitely, this is the food one, so I can put all the food in there. Like the bread and the cookies and the mayonnaise. And then raw materials for my crystals. Then I got some cotton seeds I can put into here. Where do I put the poop? I put the poop in here. What do you know? And I get this organized. You know what, I'm gonna take a minute to do this and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I got most of it organized. I made another chest right here, as you can see, which was for bottled items. So that makes everything a little bit better. But it looks like a lot of stuff got crafted there. So it's time to craft a lot more. Oh, that's another thing. The bottles require thread as well. So that's why everything is so darn difficult to get. I'll do that for now. Can't make any more leather. I could make some more boots. The boots really aren't that expensive. I mean, it's all the royal clothing. Once again, it's just so demanding with that. I can make a lot of more iron and make a lot more. I can make a lot more steel. I probably need more steel then. If I can make that much of it. Ooh, let's get this guy. Level 50, the big 5-0. Very cool. So let's check this out. What do we want to do? So many options, so little time. We could do banking. I just don't feel like I could utilize that. Like, I feel like at this point we should just start from the bottom and go down. Items discarded from your inventory are instantly sold instead. That's commerce. It's a convenience. There might be a point in time where we need that. So with all of that figured out, I think we are good to skedaddle on out of here. After I get these boots. There we go. After I get the boots. Maybe take a look at everything else. Still not gonna be, oh no, I can do this. It'll actually be good to get those glyphs because they'll give me extra experience with everything. And that's always worth its while. I'm gonna do that. I have a lot of bottles, I have like over 200. So I need to set those up here, all but one. And see what else I can do. Not really too much more at the moment. I could make another droid, I'm not gonna do it. So at this rate, I am just waiting it out for that one glyph. Can this guy unleash all that stuff? Thank you. Oh, I'm not, I didn't mean to do that. I need to make more bridges out. There it is, there's the glyphs. Experience gain increased by 75%. I'm pretty sure that's the last one. I will double check though, just to see. Just keep it in mind for benchmarking. There's a lot of stuff around here. Lots of pumpkins and everything too. Okay. Well, I got most of that figured out. <laughs> I'm just trying to destroy stuff. I'm going to skedaddle from here. Grab that just for some extra regeneration. And what was I about to do? I was gonna check to see if there's any more I can... I don't know why I'm doing this now. I guess that could be helpful. So yeah, there's no more of those. So I got all the glyphs, I got all the amulets. That's pretty good things to have. We're gonna go into here now. Was it this one I wanted to go in? Oh, I do not want this. I don't like the fire galaxy. I'm just gonna look back on my old footage of previous, you know, Forge or playthroughs we've done. <laughs> this thing is in the way. And just try my best to follow that and just solve it that way. So here's the fire temple. We have plenty of room in here. And we're just gonna be beating up bad guys. However we can. Getting lots of free stuff. That's always good. But we have the you know inventory now to make it work, which is always good. These guys are scary. Oh, I don't have any bombs though. You know what, I gotta go figure that out. We're definitely gonna need bombs. I'm so silly, I know I'm always forgetting something, right? I need bombs to blow up, blow up any secret areas, which we should be able to get that feat. If we've successfully blown up every secret area in all the temples, I should have that good to go. So I don't need all of these. I just need like 20. 20 should be plenty. So I still have four minutes left of this extra speed. I want to make the most of it. So I'm going to go back in. So they should be back because they respawn, which is cool. So we got these guys and those guys. Don't see too much more except to go into this room. Whoa, maybe I'm moving a little too fast with all this fiery explosions and stuff. Hey now, there we go. So this is maybe what I can use a bomb for. No, I don't know how to get in there just yet. I probably need the fire wand. Oh, blue key. That's cool. 
I don't know what the texture is for explodable walls just yet. But I'm sure we'll figure it out. Oh, here we go. I see that. So I just need to pay attention to the walls of all the rooms. Make sure we're doing everything correctly. So let me activate these guys. And let's go this way. Oh, I have another one of these puzzles. And another secret room. Got it. Two more treasure chests. Oh, maybe not. I don't know what this is about. There might be an, a, a hint to that puzzle later on or something. I'll have to look around for it. What about then this way? I need a red key for that one. All right, well, we have this guy. Might as well beat him up. Got it. No markings on the wall here. Got another. I think that once we get the fire rod. What is this about? I think this is another thing where I can light these up with a torch. Which I don't currently have, but we do have a red key. Wait, did I not pick it up? Oh, I gotta press A. Silly me. So I can go this way though. Got a bunch more demons to beat up. And that's for the green key. Okay, so some things are making sense here. I can go down this way. And there's your green key. Nothing explodable around here. The green key was up to here. And here we go, the fire rod. Use it to blast objects and enemies. And I definitely will. So it can melt those things away. Excellent. Got a fairy in here and another fairy. And none of these walls are bombable. I didn't think so. I had to make sure. Let's try this one. Did that work? Yep. What's inside of here? Oh, this is bombable. And there's also a key for the boss. So I guess there's gonna be a boss that's gonna be cool. Oh boy, I got hit by the, the wall thing. Got some more money. I mean, at this point we're gaining more money than we're losing, which is always good. So what's going on with this? I think I can light these up. Yes, I can. I don't know if there's a certain order I'm expected to light these up in. So I don't need it to be at full energy to give this a blast. Good to know. There we go. Get that one, and then finally, get that one. Ooh, three treasure chests right there. Awesome. And definitely no bombable walls here. Still don't know what the hint is for the other thing. Okay, so I can go in there if I wanted to face the boss. I know that there's at least this I can check out. I still have no clue. Oh, there's another bombable thing here though. There we go, another chest. Huh, I am a bit confused then. I don't know how to solve this. Uh, there has to be something. I don't know. Because there's a lot of different possible combinations. It's not like I can just exhaust them all. Looks like our super speed ran out. For right now though, if there's nothing more I can do, I can at least face the great demon boss. He's very cool. Try to stay. I wanted to get a good look at him because usually we fight these guys and we defeat them so fast. We have to actually see him first. <laughs> I like how he just sort of trots around. It's like, I'm the great demon and I will walk where I please and that's it. All right, well, we almost got him and he's down. Excellent. And there doesn't seem to be anything else going on here, so I don't know what the solution is to that one puzzle. Anyways, we completed the fire temple. Very cool. We have the demon hunter trophy, and we get the fire seal, and of course, a spirit orb. So that's gonna kick us out of there. Still not entirely sure how to figure out that one thing. So that makes me wanna check out my feats, but before we do anything else, I need to go get the obelisk set up again. So I'm trying to get to that in whatever timely manner I can manage. There we go. Got it. <laughs> there we go, I'm gonna be making a lot more experience now. I gotta cash or stash away all this stuff. But yeah, let's take a look at that. Let's go to our feats. Because what are some of the things I'm missing? Complete every NPC quest. I don't have enough green things to do that yet. Have 10 max health, we'll do that eventually for sure. Water 100 seeds, we could do very soon. Plant 100 seeds, we could do very soon. 
complete the museum. So all the museum stuff we'll do eventually. I want to do those sort of last. Solve the fire galaxy puzzle. Haven't done that. Have a million coins. I didn't even know that was something we got to try to do that at some point. Complete the museum mining bundle. Once again, complete the dungeon without taking damage. I haven't done that? That's a problem because I think it's now too late to do that. <laughs> Uh-oh. I swear that I've completed a dungeon without taking damage, but okay. Complete the museum building bundle. Perform a challenging blood ritual. Complete the museum farming bundle. Complete the museum cooking bundle. Kill an enemy with a single arrow shot. We'll do that sooner or later. Complete the museum alchemy bundle. Complete yeah, more museum. Win the jackpot at a slot machine. We'll do that sooner or later. Build 200 structures. If the, if the bridge is counted, we would have done that a long time ago. Complete the museum archaeology bundle. Complete every museum bundle. Build on top of every water tile. That's a little egregious, but I'll do it. Learn every skill we're getting there. Find every secret room. I'm missing like one somewhere. Open every big treasure chest. I'm very close to that one. Shoot 100 arrows. Collect every tool and weapon. Have three bombs active at once. We can do that right now, actually. Ready for this? And it's pretty nice, too, because it will clear all this out. And I'm going to get hurt. Actually, I didn't get hurt there. There we go. I got it. <laughs> it did clear things out really well, though. If you ever just don't care about resources, you can do this, and it works out pretty well. I do care about resources, though, so I probably shouldn't do that. Um, For now, let's activate this. We could do Excavator or Scholar. I think I want to do Excavator, because I'm still looking for some rare stuff in this biome specifically. I'm looking for whatever glacier thing we got. And it doesn't look like I got it. <laughs> oh, I had to try, right? Did I get it? Oh, I did, I got 10 of them. <laughs> okay, we're fine. Great, awesome. See, that's what I've been waiting for. Let's see if I can't get any more. I might, I might not, but I definitely wanna donate some of those. That's the whole point of setting those up in each biome is to get those rarities like that. For right now, I'm gonna put it in my rare stuff chest and then put the spirit orb in there. I mean, I could work on getting that 10 health. I don't know if it's exactly necessary at the moment. Make 10 more of those, might as well. Hmm. Okay, lots of stuff going on. Let me check out the shops. It's definitely been enough time for that. I'm worried that I might not, actually it hasn't been. I got three seconds left. I'm really worried though about the whole completing a dungeon without taking damage. I can't complete a dungeon if it's already completed, you know? So what's gonna happen now? Have I missed out on getting all the feats in the game? Cause that would really stink, but at the same time, I wouldn't be too surprised if that's the case, because I don't know, it's just silly things like ha that, that happen. There we go. Um, oh, 75 slime, that's well worth it. I'm definitely spending more than I need to here, <laughs> but it's fun, just to not have to worry about it. So we got industrious or hoarder? We're doing industrious. Just getting that extra experience, and it just ups the production of everything. So much more. Oh, there's a demon here, be careful. Get rid of that guy, and all of this. Very, very good. So, with that done, I probably need to figure out the galaxy, the fire galaxy thing now. And also, oh, I could actually build up more of the pigments. Let me do that too. I'm trying to get this one thing, there we go, I got it. So where are the pigments at? They should be right over here. I have seven of them, so if I can make 13, I can make 12, darn it. <laughs> I needed a little bit more than that game. There might be some more slimes that have respawned at this point. I should just take a look around. It doesn't look like it. I mean, they only spawn in the grass biome. They might spread throughout just because, you know, they're traveling and stuff, just like every other creature is. But I think they only spawn directly in the grass biome. Oh, there's more stuff. Didn't, did I not check this one out? I might have not have. I checked this one out. So what I have, I have healing potion. I don't really need it. Lavender, topaz, horns. I don't need this stuff. Let's just stop buying it. All I'm doing is making my, I have to, making me have to do more stuff, like more organization. I'll do a little bit more arrows, just because I can. I definitely need to bottle more death moths. So how many bottles do I have, just in general? I don't have any bottles right now. That's a problem. Um, how many can I make? I can make 110. Is there any of these open? No, they're all hard at work, so I'm just gonna make one more. It's gonna be that big of a deal. 
So I got that going on, and as you can see, we can make a bunch of glass. Awesome. See, so yeah, while that's all doing its stuff, we could do another excavator or we could do hoarder. Let's do hoarder. Getting, I think that's double experience, right? No, I think that was the scrolls. This is double experience. This is just double stuff. But that's fine with me. I like getting double stuff. So I'm probably gonna save the boon for its own episode. Right now, it just doesn't seem to be worth also focusing on that. Like probably even after I do most of the uh, museum stuff, I'd focus on the boon chest a little bit more. There we go. So with all of that done, I guess it's time. I've been avoiding it all this time. I need to do the fire galaxy thing. And probably I'm just gonna go, like I said, look back at my old footage and just sort of do it piece by piece and solve this darn thing. It's so unpleasant, but I gotta do it. Okay, so I gotta figure it out, but for whatever reason, while I was figuring it out, it just switched to keyboard controls and won't switch back. So let me go ahead and do this. And there we go, we got this. So I'm gonna grab these. I'm sorry if my keyboard is super loud and clicky, but I can at least do this. We got the fire shot of ourselves, the, the fire galaxy puzzle, and also fire galaxy seal. And we should also get a spirit orb. Yeah. Okay, grab all this stuff. Thank you, droid friend. Let's get out of here. And I'm gonna go exit out of the game or just change the controls or whatever I need to do. So yeah, I guess I gotta save and exit for now. Okay, I figured it out, my controller batteries died. I don't know why the Xbox controller just doesn't have chargeable batteries, but I guess it doesn't. Anyways, I'm so glad we got that done. I mean, we got all those figured out now. The problem is I still haven't gotten a dungeon done without taking damage. I still don't know how it's gonna work. There's still like a couple of things we need to figure out, but that's the majority of the fire biomes done. Let's poke around a little bit longer for some more slimes. And then I'll probably be just about ready to call it a day. I mean, we could go on for a little bit longer. I know this episode's a little short. Um, see, so yeah, we're looking for slimes right now. Wherever there may be one. Right now, it doesn't seem like there's many anywhere. I don't know why the game's so stingy with slimes. Because there's no other like external way to get them is the hard part. So it's just like, if I don't have any around here, I'm just sort of out of luck. I just need one more, I'm pretty sure. I'll check the dude and see. I mean, okay, I haven't made these yet. So let me make these. And see how that goes. My obelisk is still going. We're still level 50 though. We're getting closer to the next level though. We're halfway through level 50. But this is where it gets this crazy difficult to get to the next level. And that's where I wanted to save the spirit orbs to see if it was worth my while to do so. Okay. So with that done, I'm gonna move over here and beat up some of these demons. Oh, we got another obelisk we can do. Dexterous or scholar, always do scholar. Get the double experience and everything. So, oh, I do have enough. All right, hello. Only one more fetch quest for you. After that, you may have my super special mag magical scepter. All right, well, then what do you want? All right, here we go, the big question. The big quest. Find me crystals, that's it. My energy, or not my energy, sorry. I need them for obvious magical reasons. Well, the crystals are the easiest thing. He only needs 200, which is a minuscule amount compared to what we have. Uh, you made it, congratulations. You have earned my super special magical scepter. I could have just gotten those things myself, to be honest. This scepter is far more viable than all of that. Um, fine, here you go. So here we go, we got some kind of complete every NPC quest, that's awesome. But as you can see, we get Magical Scepter. Your rods have infinite charge. How cool is that? He still has a scepter. I mean, I guess that's a different scepter right there. Also, one thing I never did in today's episode that I wanna go do now is I never chose a costume. Let's choose a new costume for today. See what we end up getting. That'll be fun. So, I can do like a robo eye or hood. Do we have anything new for this? I Shovel Knight Golden. I feel like we could do the golden. I feel like that's fun. <laughs> with a fire head. I like it like whenever we have the, the, you know, a special body that we don't have anything too much for the, oh, that looks so cool though. <laughs> like a golden fairy. I like that, that's fun. Okay, well that's our setup for today. The golden fairy. Um, Is there anything else going on around here? There's a slime, get him. He gave me like three slime. Not really too much, but it's something. I'm just glad though, you know, we're making progress. It's the most important thing. Okay, yeah, get all this. And maybe I wanna go and poke into some of these and see if I can't find the one last bomb area I might have missed. 
because I'm not sure where I could have missed that, but definitely I could have. Yeah, I don't want to get myself stuck. Yeah, because that'll not stay open. I do not want to get myself stuck, so. That's why it'd be nice to have something where I can automatically leave. Maybe I should spend my time doing this at some other point. So I have a bad time, a hard time ever deciding when to spend my energy where. I just remember checking this so thoroughly is the thing. And same thing with like the skull area. So like maybe the snow area I missed some stuff, but like I doubt it. Who knows? Um, for right now we could get scholar or builder. Let's get scholar. I would really like one of those to be, um, you know, the excavator, so we can get a bunch of stuff to dig up. That'd be the best thing, but not quite happening just yet. Okay, let's beat up this guy. I think this one still has a little while to go. Yep, but I think the one up in the the winter biome should be pretty good. So I'm gonna get that one set up in just a second. Just getting all this along the way. Now I have 36 seconds until I have to re reset that obelisk anyway, so yeah, might as well spend my time. Actually, no, two and a half minutes left. Okay. So besides, like I know I need to get the treasure chest for the music thing. I also have to put the stuff away in my chests because right now it's a mess. Hmm. Okay. 11 more seconds, just keep beating more stuff up. But yeah, for the music thing in the skull area with hitting the bells, I need to figure that one out still. But beyond that, I should be mostly good with every chest in the game. So we're finishing things up in a pretty spectacular fashion. I mean, we're not gonna be able to do it all by today's episode, but we're getting closer, that's what matters. Let me use this health potion. Okay, that does that restore stamina? It does. And I'm gonna activate this, crafting obelisk, and see what else is going on. Yep, get all that. And we're almost good with everything. So I think that maybe that's where we'll finish it off. We got lots more to do, but most of it, we'll just have to wait and worry about it in the next episode. But we got a good chunk of stuff done. I mean, I got to explore all the fire biome and that's the most important thing. And hopefully by next episode, I'll have enough going on that I can worry more about that. That'll be great. Okay, is there anything to buy from out of these? Like maybe I should wait for these real fast. I have a minute and 35 seconds. So I guess I'll do that first thing next episode. Just trying to see what other things I can set up before we go. I can, I can actually do a good chunk more plastic. I'm gonna do that. And I can make either more fiberglass or more electronics, but not a ton of them. Once more plastic is made, it'll definitely be easier. For now we'll do that. And more electronics then. Just like that. Okay then, so that was awesome. We worked really hard to get a lot of fire biome stuff figured out. In, in the next episode, hopefully we'll figure out even more stuff. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Forager. If you watch this point of video, make sure you comment fire zebra. So now you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.